Good morning, YouTube family. So, it is Saturday, um, day 13 of our quarantine. And I know, like, I've been missing for mad days. I didn't make any videos during the quarantine. But honestly, we have been doing nothing but being bored in the house and in the house bored. So I didn't want to bore y'all with vlogs and whatnot of us really doing nothing because we did nothing. <laughs> so boring. Um, I wanted to decorate for Christmas. I thought it would be a good time, but we don't have a Christmas tree and we can't leave to go get a Christmas tree. And then I thought about like doing business stuff and whatnot, but I have to order more supplies for that. So that stuff is on the way, but it was just like, there, there was nothing to show because we didn't do anything like at all, but eat and sleep and watch television. Like we've been bored real bored so that's the update on that um everyone's still feeling well like i don't feel like i have any symptoms the boys have been well arguing their usual um as for thomas he's been quarantined in our bedroom by his lonesome like i literally make the food take the food knock on the door and run away so he seems to be doing fine. Like he doesn't have the body aches as much as he did before and everything. So tomorrow is Sunday and that's technically our 14th day and last day of quarantine. So on Monday, he goes into the doctors and I believe they retest him to see if he still has it or if he got over it. And then what happens after that? I have no idea because I have discovered like after being on the phone for hours with the CDC to try to get some answers and with the boys school nurse trying to get some answers nobody knows what's happening like everybody's just guessing and so you just gotta learn to rock with the guesses like I just so who knows what happens and then I have to make a doctor's appointment on Monday I guess to be tested to see if I have it but then they always say like if you don't have any symptoms there's no need to test you but then people be out here asymptomatic super contagious like no one knows i don't know the cdc doesn't know doctors don't know nobody knows so what happens on monday is just up in the air for anyone the only people that do know is the boys and that's that they're not going back to school until november 30th Whew. that was a mouthful but i'm about to make some breakfast i can't decide whether I, whether or not i want like a full breakfast like bacon and eggs kind of breakfast or just like some cereal and I have been eating so horribly like I tried to restart my keto but I have been eating horribly so I think I'm just gonna go for a full breakfast yeah bacon and eggs call it a day salsa on top and my good old coffee um i didn't end up putting the mct oil in it because i feel like that's going to be filling enough that i don't really need the mct oil right now and i've been using creamer in my coffee instead of like the uh heavy whipping cream and then getting the sugar-free syrup like that was just too much so I've been getting this regular old coffee creamer 
like the sugar-free coffee creamer and adding that to my coffee that way I still get a flavor as you know coffee creamers come in all types of flavors and then it's sugar-free just like my syrup would have been kills a lot of birds with a lot with one stone and then the bacon normally I cook my bacon in the air fryer it's what I've been doing lately but I needed this grease for Thanksgiving for the collard greens so I had to withstand the pain of it popping on me for a little bit for a future meal but yeah this is breakfast and I'm gonna go sit down and eat all right so I finished my breakfast it was delicious um and now I think I'm going to try and like get this house in some type of order because we got here in what August and still I feel like it looks nowhere near what it needs to look like like it's just a house but it doesn't feel like a home like I kind of still feel like it looks like a like a broke college student lives here like I just I really feel like it does like first off a lot of things I don't know if the movers lost it or it just didn't get packed or if it got thrown in the trash but like we're missing so much stuff that like all of our curtains gone so like you can't even I don't know I have a weird thing about like having the blinds open because I feel like everybody's staring and looking in your house but then it will also be nice to let in some sunlight and not have to use the electricity so much but again I don't need people looking all in my house um, so curtains would be nice but all of our curtains somehow some way didn't make the trip um, <laughs> like the charger to my computer was in my computer bag somehow some way that didn't make the trip like so many things are missing and I just feel like I paid for it once. I shouldn't have to buy it again. But that is the current state of things. So I said all of that to say, I'm trying to set up our house. And we have like a whole lot of books. Like the boys had books. I had a lot of books. And so I did get a desk from, oh, the lighting's better over here. Did get a desk from the On Post thrift store. But... We do not have a bookshelf. So I bought a bookshelf. And I guess I'm going to try to put it together. Hi, sickness. First of all, that's not me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Did you mean your son? Look, Theo was right. So Theo the other day came downstairs and was like, Mommy, I really want to play Call of Duty. So I was like, Theo, go ask your dad. If you can play Call of Duty. It's his video game. Go ask your father. So he got all upset and disappointed. Like, I can't because daddy has his virus hands all over the controller. <laughs> the boy never lies. At all. Yeah, he does. I'm saying you got virus hands. You can't just be touching stuff. But I'm going to try to put this bookshelf together. <sighs> you can't be down here breathing my air. Oh, my God. Open the window or something. <laughs>
feels like a million years later, I did it. <laughs> oh, I finally finished it. So at first, I was going to put this upstairs in Tom Tom's room underneath his bed. I haven't shown you guys his bed, but he has a loft bed. So he has like a little space underneath of his bed that I was going to make like his little chill out spot. Like it's not a tall loft bed. So I would have to put this cube organizer, whatever, on its side and lay it down because that would be the only way it would fit there. So just for him to like read books, like have his own little spot, but they've been getting on my nerves, both my kids. I have been getting on my nerves all day today. Like it's been their mission in life to irk every last one of my nerves. Like the whole time I was trying to put this together, I was up and down the steps because they're arguing and fighting. Like I can hear it all the way downstairs them slapping each other mind you husband is upstairs nothing like you don't hear nothing like hard slaps I'm downstairs and I hear the slaps so I go upstairs I take the switch away I take televisions out of the room like y'all just separate go to your own spots just give me peace <laughs> like, uh, I swear if reincarnation is real I want to come back as a dad I do. I really, really do. <sighs> but with that being said, I'm feeling like I might just leave this downstairs, even though, and put it over here in this corner and stack all those books on top of it and just that be that. Okay. So I sorted out the books that were in this corner for each child, so all the ready to read books went to Theo's room, all the more advanced books we had went to Tom Tom's room. So now this shelf is just gonna house those books over there. And I guess like my little stuffed animals in the hole, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we can get everything from off the top of the desk, cause there's barely any room to write. I can help you out I can help you out I can help you out Here we go, here we go again Time is up and I'm calling up my friends Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why to Here we go, here we go again Call me up and you wanna be my friend I'm the one you ride I'm the one you ride to If you don't Wanna change Ain't no place to hide Ain't no one to run to If you don't Wanna change I can help you out I can help you out I can help you out So here it is, the little desk corner of the downstairs. And that's my degree. I'm planning on putting it over there on the wall, but we don't have a hammer. And nor do I know exactly how I'm supposed to hook the degree up there because the back of it is like weird. Like, I don't know. 
how they expect for you to be able to hang that up. But I don't know, I might have to wait till after quarantine to get like the um, command strips for pictures and stuff. Here is the completed little corner. I'm so happy about it. So I put like all of my for pleasure reading books. That one time when I went to Barnes and Noble and just stacked up on books like I was going to have time to read them. But I'm going to get around to it, I promise. Um, and then down here, like all my business stuff, my little envelope with all my business receipts, business planner, business notebooks that I write everything down in. And then down there, it's just like some of Big Thomas's books and whatnot, but it needed to get off the desk. So, found a place for my stuffed animals. I've had this poodle. My mom gave that to me when I um, was in high school. Still managed to keep her. And then Thomas gave me that for like my first birthday when we first started dating. And then I forget if that was like Valentine's Day, he got me that little Hello Kitty. And then that Hello Kitty little bucket came with flowers in it for like Mother's Day one year he got for me. But yeah, it's all done. It's so organized and neat. I love it. I don't know how long it's going to stay that way, but I love it.